Hey, Shinedown have a new song out, and you know what? Those dudes can write some songs. Uh, I've definitely liked a lot of the stuff that I've seen of them. Um, it didn't really grab me initially when I first heard them, but then I saw them live and they were so impressive. It kind of, it all made sense for me. So now, I'm a Shinedown fan. I like that shit. Uh, props to Teresa Hoffman for uh, nudging me about this one. Let me know that this was out. I didn't realize they had a new song. I'm excited to hear it. It's called Planet Zero, and it goes a little something like this. And go! Got that like Texas rock vibe. Bent down. Cord there is nice. It's the high note he leans into. That man. He's so good at that. Ooh. Like industrial. The more nasally sound vocally than I remember. Lots of heavy floor tom work. Uh, that's nice. Nice. All right, we're building for the countdown. Stairs gone to 16. Okay. This is nice. They've added another guitar layer here, I think, to get a bit more beefiness. Love that melody. The rest of it is all right. Not their strongest. Uh, that riff is great. Well, <coughs> excuse me, I have a cough. Um, it's not COVID. I, li I literally actually took a lateral this morning. It doesn't matter. Um, that was enjoyable. I like, there's a sound that Shine Down put out that I do like, because that's sort of like country music twist of heavy rock riffs and low beefy drum beats, uh, which, which can be great. And I really like his vocal styling in that ilk, in the verses especially, that sort of like distorted edge he puts on it, that sort of grit, um, along with the melody, I think is brilliant, I love that. For some reason, the choruses didn't really speak to me as much as I hoped they would. They've got better choruses in other songs, in my view. The third section, the third, the third quarter, the third 
three quarters of the way through that chorus. Um, there's a lovely little melody I liked, but the zero, I didn't find that to be particularly uh, interesting or inspiring. Uh, and there was a kind of more of a nasal tone to his singing that I don't remember him having so much from other songs. I, I, could, be I could be wrong about that. But it sort of reminded me of like the Avenged Sevenfold singer a bit, which I'm not super into. Uh, so that was interesting. But the riffs were fucking awesome. The rhythmic choices that we're doing with the riffs and the drums that supported it, really cool. Great kind of, uh, yeah, uh, what, what, what do I call it? Driving beat rhythm, but with enough like off beats and, and gaps in the riff that it, it made it kind of groovy and cool. I really, really enjoyed that. I also like the kind of build up bit, you know? When they started doing a countdown from 10, I'm like, well, this is a little bit, okay. It's not, yeah. I see where we're going here. We know we're gonna to get to one. Um, but actually what the music was doing around that countdown was quite interesting. The drums were doing some like floor time bits and pieces, I think. They were kind of building with floor and snare and then swapped the snare to do like a, a full march up, which was nice. I like that. There were a lot of things to like in that song. Uh, I enjoyed a lot of that. The chorus, it might be one of those things that the more I hear it, the more I like it. Um, but uh, I don't know. The chorus was not the strongest part of it, but the riff and the drums, and everything went with that. And the vocals in the verses I really liked as well. So there's, there's stuff that I liked in there. Thanks, Shine Down. Good track, enjoyable. Uh, anyway, uh, hopefully you enjoyed my reaction to that. If you did, and if you wanna see more from me, feel free, otherwise, have a wonderful day. Maybe I'll see you in another video.